Is Pat Flynn the king of podcasting? Let's look at some of the reasons why he might be. Number one, he's posted consistently. Right now, he's up to episode 675, I think it is. Number two, he's authentic. He shares details about new ventures he's working on, different collaborative projects, his family, even at one stage, his income monthly statements. Not to show off and definitely not to lie, but just purely to be completely transparent and open. Number three, he's got a perfectly simple intro for each of his episodes. First of all, there's an insight into what's coming up in that episode. Then he's got a professional voiceover guy who introduces that episode and says a quirky fact about him. Maybe it's the fact that he's scared of spiders. Maybe it's the fact that he's seen Back to the Future 314 times. We find out something about Pat on every single episode. Number six, his episode lengths are always very consistent. And number seven, he's collaborated with some other very smart people. So if you want the answer as to whether or not Pat Flynn is the king of podcasting, well, I don't know about king, but he's definitely one who's right up there and someone to listen out for.